yeah, these fans are pretty good. They keep your PC cool and all. There, that's a review. Now get lost. Okay, okay, there's a lot more to the Silent Wings 4 than just that. Because these things represent such a big evolution in pretty much everything compared to the Silent Wings 3, it is pretty incredible. Well, okay, we should probably start at the fact that these things are fast. Seeing how the high speed versions now operate at 1900 RPM compared to the 1600 RPM of the Silent Wings 3 high speed. So of course, as usual, you also have a slower and more quiet version as well if you want that. And seeing how the high speed and non high speed cost the same, unless fan curves just scale that much, you're better off just buying a high speed and then adjusting the speed to whatever you want. Between the increase in RPM and a few more tweaks in the design, these things really go for it. In fact, these things push so much air, I literally had problems recording B-roll for them because it just made the fans fall over. Though the higher RPM does also bring a slight noise penalty, but come on, they literally have silent in their name, so it really isn't that big of a deal. The overall airflow increase over the Silent Wings 3 should mean that these things are going to keep your PC cooler than ever before. So let's test the Silent Wings 4, Silent Wings 3, and also the Light Wings, the RGB fans that Be Quiet also recently released, to see which one will keep your PC the coolest on hot days like this one. Starting off at idle, the Silent Wings 4 already take the first W, the difference isn't really anything too big. And that's pretty much a story for all other tests. In Cinebench R23, the Silent Wings 4 also keep the CPU the coolest, but again by a very narrow margin. In Times by Extreme, once again the same thing is true for both the CPU and GPU temperatures. And finally in the Shadow of the Tomb Raider benchmark, the exact same thing happens again. So I guess uh, points for consistency then. But now let's do a proper drag race. Let's pin these things to the highest possible RPM and let's see exactly how much better the brand new Starling Wings 4 are at keeping your components cool compared to the Starling Wings 3. And here we get a much better idea of how exactly these fans behave. With the temperature peaks for the Starling Wings 4 being less peakier and both the CPU and GPU were also both able to cool much faster with these brand new fans. So yes, the next generation of Be Quiet Starling Wings fans are more efficient than the previous generation. What a surprising result. And if that was the only difference between these fans, then yeah, I would have been less kind to them. But there's so much more going on here, starting off with the design. Now call me a sad tech nerd in the comments as much as you like. Trust me, I'm used to it by now. But I love the design of these fans more than I probably should. The rim of the fan is more round and smooth. The details around the fans seem a lot more modern and futuristic in the looks. And Be Quiet even removed the iconic orange from the logo on the back of the fans for a more minimalist look. Now stop me if I sound too dramatic, but these are the fans of the future. Everything about them features such a nice and modern aesthetic that fits in so much nicer with current builds compared to the Silent Wings 3, and even compared to the ARGB Lightwings fans as well. But the functionality of the fans has also received a major upgrade. Now as usual we have both standard and special anti-vibration mounting corners, but thankfully this time around the mechanism for actually removing those corners is so much nicer. It does take some practice granted, but it is so much easier than whatever was going on with the Silent Wings 3. And after trying to take off those corners on the Silent Wings 3, my fingers always felt like I just punched a rock. Now, let's talk pricing. The 120mm version of these fans is going to cost you $22.90 or your regional equivalent, while the 140mm are going to cost you $1 more, with the high speed and not high speed versions costing the exact same. The one giant missed opportunity here is the lack of any kind of free pack. So you're gonna have to buy these things individually, which is a shame because after the light wings, it was clear that Be Quiet can put a competent free pack together. Now the reason I got is because system integrators want to have the fans individually or something, but like, whatever. Be quiet. Please, just make a free pack of these. Anyway, for the price they're at, it's really hard not to recommend these things. They are such a big improvement over every other Be Quiet fan there is right now and also so many other fans from other companies. I mean no hyperbole when I mean that these are some of the best fans you can get for your PC right now. And they do so many things right, it's gonna make your head spin. Get it spin because they're fans? Like, okay, whatever, I'll be quiet. Uh, get it. But if you somehow survived these terrible puns and you wanna buy these fans, so the Amazon links to them are gonna be down in the video description below. 
And if you use those links, you don't pay anything extra, while we get some money back that gets reinvested straight back into the channel so we can make more awesome videos for you in the future. Down there, you're also going to find our Patreon if you want to support the channel that way, because even just one single dollar a month truly goes a long way, while you get awesome perks as well. I'd also love to thank my extinct patrons, Gavin Burns, Ryan OKB, Meg Sumner, Shane Allcroft, Lansby, and Jesse Herbman. Thank you guys so, so much. Support truly goes a long way. Dan also going to find our merch store, our Discord server, and our social media links as well. But anyway, that's right. It's I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Good. Bye.